Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I have an enormous video for you guys. This is gonna be kind of a long one. It's probably gonna take me a while to edit, but trust me, it's probably gonna be worth it, probably. <laughs> All right, so if you guys are thinking about getting the iPhone XS or XS Plus, uh, you're gonna wanna watch this as well uh, because I've got tons of different leaks and rumors from all different people because there's still a little bit of debate, especially on the name. So let's get right into this. First of all, uh, Ming-Chi Kuo, who has an outstanding track record so far, uh, for leaks and stuff. Uh, this is kind of what he's expecting here. Uh, 6.1 inch LCD iPhone is the main investment theme. Uh, obviously that's the one that's gonna sell a lot. New iPad Pro. Uh, by the way, this is all for the event tomorrow uh, at 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 1 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, if you wanna watch it, it's live streamed on Apple's website as well as Twitter apparently. Anyways, uh, new iPad Pro with USB-C and an 18 watt adapter. So this is going away from the lightning, which is not anything that any of us saw coming um, until this leak, of course, yesterday. Uh, new low price MacBook uh, to boost shipment, new Apple Watch, we know that, smaller bezel, ECG or EKG support, and all ceramic back, uh, and then new AirPods 2 and Air Power. Now, I'm a little bit hesitant on a few of these. Uh, let me first start with this Air Power and AirPods 2. I don't know if Air Power is really ready yet. Um, I really hope it is. If it's not Apple, you're dropping the ball. Air AirPods 2, I don't think are ready yet, but I think the charging case might be. Now, with that said, that just might mean, you know, they announce it tomorrow and then they release it, you know, a couple weeks from now, maybe. Uh, but we'll have to see there. Uh, the iPad Pro USB-C thing, that's kind of crazy. All right, let me move on here. Uh, leaked images of the alleged SIM trays for 6.1 inch iPhone. This is the cheap one. Uh, depict five color options. Space gray, I'm gonna zoom in just a bit for you guys. Space gray, silver, uh, red, blue, and brown. So those are the colors. I, it's kind of a weird color palette this year. Uh, not sure that I'm, I really like any of them, uh, but this is kind of similar to the product red. This blue is kind of an off blue. It's kind of a, I don't know. It's a weird color. Brown is weird for a phone. Uh, silver and then space gray, the usual suspects. So here are uh, them. These are not actual, I mean, they are dummy phones, but they're actual models. Uh, Venya Geskin, uh, where is it? Uh, there was a tweet, I guess it's not in this post. Basically, these are legitimate phones, uh, supposedly. They could even work, uh, they're not sure, but uh, these are the colors. So we got a red, kind of looks like product red, but doesn't say it. We got the, I think this is gold, uh, and then the blue, supposedly, or space gray, hard to say. So if I open up this Twitter here, this tweet, and scroll over, there we go. So these are some better shots of them. Uh, they do look pretty much like a finished product here. Um, there's not really any faults here. And if we open it up, there's the dual SIM tray, which is not something that would be in a fake uh, mock-up phone. So interesting to see that. Also funny to see, he says iPhone XC, which I will get to in just a second. So if we move on, Apple not expected to announce any new beats at Wednesday's event. Uh, I don't really have anything to say other than that. So we can close out of that one. Uh, so the rumors of the iPhone XS Max is asymmetrical, heaviest at 7.3 ounces, Apple Watch going 64 bit. If we go through this article here, uh, this was written a little earlier today, just over 24 hours away until the event uh, and he still hearing new details. So this is kind of a weird event because there have been a lot of leaks, but honestly, like there's a lot that's unknown, like the naming of these things and everything. So the first obviously is that the 10s max is going to be the name instead of iPhone 10 S plus, uh, which I think is an absolutely stupid name. And I'm still sticking to my guns here. I don't think it will be called the 10 S max, even though uh, I think Bloomberg said it was going to be uh, quo is even saying it. Um, so there's some big players that are saying it's going to be called the 10 S max. And I know I'll eat my words tomorrow if it is the 10S Max, but that's such a stupid name. They just need to call it the 10 S Plus. Keep everything, you know, on the same playing field here. People will understand. They're not going to know what the hell a 10S Max is. Plus, it sounds stupid. I wouldn't want it just because of the name. Uh, it will be the heaviest at 7.34 ounces, which is crazy. These these phones are getting so big and heavy. It's like, ugh, because they're premium materials. This is, you know, stainless steel and glass. Um, but that is that is quite heavy. If correct, that compares uh, to the iPhone 8 Plus, which was a heavy phone because of the glass, but it had aluminum, uh, and that weighs in at 7.13 ounces. The overall casings for both iPhones are expected to be about the same size, but the 0.20 ounce difference is likely to do with the use of the stainless steel on the 10s Max versus aluminum. Yeah, I just said that. Uh, gone are the days of obsessing over lighter and thinner. That's kind of good, kind of bad, because I think there's a point where it's like, Okay, when anyone picks up my iPhone 10 right now, they're like, wow, that's a heavy phone. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it, it's a nice phone. It's, it has some heft to it. But once you get up upwards of 7.3 ounces, I mean, too much almost. Like, do you really wanna be carrying this? It's already gonna be unwieldy. 
but now it's going to be even heavier. I don't think it'll hurt sales any, uh, but I think people will get fatigued a lot easier using that phone. Hell, we might even see some complaints about it, like weight gate or something. So uh, I know back we reported that the uh, 18 watt charger was going to be in it, but now we're back to the five watt. I think that the 18 watt was actually for the iPad Pro. So it was kind of right of our, our rumors, but kind of kind of not right. So that's why they're called rumors. It's pretty much everything we know. Now 64 bit Apple Watch. Um, that is interesting and not anything that anyone else has really talked about, but it's good. 64 bit is the way of the future. So let's do it. All right, next up, new Apple video encourages app developers to switch to a subscription model. I just had to throw this in here, guys. Um, if you do this, if you're a developer, you're not getting my money because fuck that shit. All right, next up, another Quo thing, uh, iPad Pro switching to USB-C, cheaper MacBook with Touch ID and Apple Watch gaining ECG and more. So this is very similar to the Mac Rumors one, but I wanna throw in all the different uh, ones from like nine to five Mac. So uh, included are several new details regarding the midsize iPhone XR, XR, new iPads and everything. So I wanna first talk about the namings. So 6.1 inch iPhone still launching in late September, early October due to quality issues uh, of the assembly and display. Now, this is a strategic move by Apple to push the exp more expensive phones first, get their money, and then release the cheaper one later. Okay, this is strategic. It is possibly due to this, but they could have fixed it, you know, if they wanted to. If they wanted to release this, you know, whenever, they would have done it. They just don't want to have all this market saturation because they're going to have these new iPads tomorrow as well. So they're going to release the expensive ones first with the iPads, and then later they will do uh, these 10Rs or whatever. Um, Bloom Bloomberg says it will launch in limited supply. Um, now, iPhone XR, that is so stupid. Really, you're gonna try to sell someone an iPhone XR. I mean, you're putting a Roman numeral, supposedly, next to a normal letter. Like, really? You think people aren't gonna call it the XR? You're gonna, you think they're gonna call it the 10R? No, no one's gonna say that. They're gonna say, oh, the XR. That's stupid, it's a dumb name anyway. I get it, because it's R is right before the S, so QRS, so they're just, it's not the S version, if you get that, whatever. Um, but that's stupid and it needs to be called the 10c it needs to have a c i know it's another letter next to it but at least it's better than xr ipad pro will feature face id and switch from lightning port to usb c uh, and will also have the 18 watt adapter low price macbook may replace the 12 inch macbook so i know a lot of people have been wanting that apple watch with slimmer bezel apple watch with slimmer bezels will support electrocardiography ecg and use ceramic backs on all models aluminum without lte currently uses composite glass which is still fine but whatever um, so here's that graphic, which we already showed you. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see, but I really want to make a video that says, I told you so to like all of these big journalists that are like, oh, it's going to be called the 10s max. Uh, maybe it will be, and I'll be looking like an idiot, but come on guys. Like that's such a stupid name, Apple. Why would you do that? Don't do it. And now, uh, this is kind of a one last kind of uh, story that I thought was kind of funny. One day ahead of iPhone launch, Apple uh, stock slid as much as 2% yesterday over trade war fears with Trump uh, putting the tariffs on China and everything. Um, so it dropped quite a bit. Um, but I actually doubled down today and bought more shares of Apple. So if you guys don't have any, um, well, you're a little bit late now. I guess you could do it quickly in the morning uh, tomorrow. But uh, if you want to stock up on your Apple shares, I don't know if it's going to go up, but my thought process is, hey, it might if, you know, the event goes well. Of course, it might not and it might tank, but uh, I figure I'll probably just sell my shares uh, right after or a few of them uh, just to kind of make a little bit of money. But I think Apple is probably a pretty decent stock to go after anyway because they're pretty, pretty stable overall. Um, but again, those are just my thoughts for educational purposes only. I am not a financial advisor or anything like that. So take it with a grain of salt. Basically, don't uh, listen to anything I say about financial advice. All right, so those are the leaks and everything uh, that we know right now. If anything comes out you know, late tonight, I'll make a video on it, um, but I think this is probably all we're gonna get until the event tomorrow, so uh, stay tuned. If you follow us on Twitter, uh, over here on Twitter, uh, we have been tweeting, uh, not too much, but every now and then, but tomorrow will be very active. Uh, it will be very active on Twitter, and uh, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is funny. Uh, I got a video coming up on privacy and stuff, um, but Apple's removing a bunch of apps that are collecting your data and uh, basically breaching terms of service that this guy figured out. So props to him and uh, good on Apple for removing these apps because they're basically stealing people's data and data mining them. So that's all I got for this video, guys. I know it's very long, a lot of rambling, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit it with a big thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.